Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. So today I'll be installing on this Rorock 4.0 uh, Accardo Pack Talk Bold. Um, so I do have one on my old helmet, so I've just bought uh, a second kit. So you can just buy the internals like the earphone bits. Um, let's unpackage it, let's have a look. So there we are. When I throw it. So there we are. That's what we'll be installing today. So as you can see, it is a Cardo Pack Talk, um, which is second helmet kit. So it comes with the mounting kit, the speakers, and microphones as well. So this uh, this headset, uh, I must admit, for me personally, it's probably one of the best on the market. So that's the reason why I've gone for a second uh, secondary kit. That way I don't have to take it out my old my old helmet. Uh, I can keep it in my old helmet as well as install it on this Rora 4.0. So I've not had this apart yet to, to try something like this. So this is an in-depth video just to see how easy it is to fit them in these uh, in these Rorocks. Let's give it a go. Let's uh, unbox this. I'll show you what's in the package and uh, then we'll go on and get the uh, get the linings out. Cardo Pad Talk Bold, let's uh, go into it. Activation guide, activation code inside. You must use it to, act to access your sound profiles. Don't need that. Cardo Pack Talk Installation Guide. Ooh. We don't need that. Let's have a look what's inside the actual box. It's of use. Nothing in there. Some alcohol wipes. Prep wipes. 3M, uh, 3M backed velcro, small 3M backed velcro, little, uh, little microphone, more sticky pads uh, with the 3M backed velcros, that's what I meant there, proper, proper decent bit of velcro then. That's it for that box. And what's in this box? So the mounting clip that goes into the helmet. Alternatively, you can stick it onto the helmet, but I uh, we'll, uh, can't decide which way around to go yet. So we'll have a look at how easy it is to install first. That's the uh, business end. So that's uh, with a clip, just clips in, slides up there, locks in place. All the cables for the speakers and the microphone. They're all there as well. JBL speakers. Now the, the quality on these speakers, I must admit, they are, they are up there. Um, they don't hurt. Because they, they, are, they are quite thick, they are quite chunky, but they don't hurt your ears or they don't like to seem to push against you. As long as you've got the indentation inside your element, you're fine. That's the uh, sticky pad that we're talking about, so you can stick it to your helmet if you want to. And then obviously that just slides onto the, uh, onto the business end there, like so. But I think I'm going to be trying to do this end of the... Uh, but again, we'll see. We'll see what it's like when it's uh, when we're fitting it on. So you can go for uh, a, a, a fixed, uh, just a fixed microphone if you want it uh, sort of built in. I think I'll be going for the uh, for the fabric one or the the sort of loose cable, just because I prefer it. Because you do find sometimes this does push into your cheek because it is quite. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's quite quite thick. 
So you do find that it does sometimes push into that part of your cheek there when it's going in. So obviously when when you're holding it uh, into the helmet, this bit does tend to sort of push in. It does on longer journeys. I do find that these aren't as good. But uh, we'll see what happens. So that's what's in the kit. So you get the business end, which is the uh, the actual connectivity between the speakers and the microphone. You get the clip, whether you want to clip it onto the uh, onto the helmet itself. The sticky pad, whether you want to just stick it onto the uh, onto the helmet, it comes with. Uh, I don't say 3M on it, but apparently these are supposed to be really, really, really good. Not not tried sticking it on the helmet. I've always gone for the clip on clip on approach. Some alcohol wipes, some Velcro pads, some sticky, which is the the Velcro pads do have the 3M tape. Right guys, so what I'm going to do on this uh, on this helmet install, uh, I'm just going to take the visor out of the equation. Take the visor off that way. You're not going to knock it, smack it, all like that. Just, uh, just a little bit. I find it a little bit easier to get into into things as well. So once you've got your helmet, so there's a couple of pop uh, pop rivets. I'll just pull. So if you open that up, you can see it just in there. Just one little pop uh, pop rivet pull. Same there. Read it all the way across. Same with that with the chin guard. You can see just behind there. Just there, just by the cheek pad. So feed the uh, feed the buckle through. That way, it's out of the way. Repeat the process with this side. Follow it round. You see a little press, press stud just inside. Just with a cheek pad. Same process, we'll take the uh, take the buckle out. So should be able to get into into everything from here. Once everything's nice and loose, you can get access all the way around the helmet. And you can start by uh, installing uh, installing the speakers or, or the speaker uh, the speaker velcros. <clears throat> what I prefer to do is install um, the actual bracket itself, and that way I know how much cable and things like that that I've got to play with. So dead easy. Once you've got that little insert there, slide it into the little tongue and groove. Push it straight up; it locks into place, nice and sturdy. That's not going anywhere, and you've got uh, you've got that on your helmet there. So, depending if you want to have it on your left or your right hand side, I tend to have it on my right hand side. Dead easy to install these. further down 
Oh, that's a bit, uh, a bit further up here. There we go. That's about, uh, about right where I have it. Again, you can tuck all the cables underneath out of there, out of the way. But we'll be needing the, uh, the microphone to go back this way. So again, like I said, I'll be using the uh, the soft uh, soft cable microphone, but uh, it's just what I prefer to use. That way, it's stuck in, it's out of the way. Like I said before, you get the cheap pad one; it does does tend to stick really far into my cheek. I don't think it will on this helmet, but uh, yeah, I'm still going to go with the uh, with the wired one. So. Does plug in one way. That way I can mount that straight to the front of the helmet. Into position where I want it. All the excess cable and things like that can just go up out of the way. So with these obviously one is longer which obviously does go around the back of the helmet uh, which obviously connects the connector there which that obviously sits on this side here followed by this one which does have a longer cable which goes all the way around the back of the helmet and round to the other side on this uh, on this particular helmet uh, there is actually um, purpose built uh, some some velcro already on here for the uh, shock wave now I don't know if the velcro is going to be long enough to fit that on I if you guys can see that on there it's just quite hard to see but there is some velcro on there Try it with a pad. Yeah, I, th I think I think they will be strong enough to be honest. So I don't think they're going to go anywhere anyway. So I might actually use a Velcro that's already built on, guys. That's not going nowhere. And it seems to fit all right. So I should take the uh, frame pad off that because I won't be need it. But at a later date, I might end up. Uh, I might take it out depending on if it uh, if it messes up or things like that. <coughs> if, it, if it drops, it falls out, you know. But uh, time being I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that took all cables underneath out of the way I'm not gonna need them again plug them in Bits getting the uh, <laughs> getting all the rivets to line back up. We're running that down there. That's the microphone. Let's do the microphone first before I put everything back together. So obviously on this one, it will need the, uh, the sticky mount. Not a 
problem. So we put the Velcro on the front of that. So there is actually a, a little Velcro um, sticker mount on the on the helmet already. But again, I've used that sticker pad now. So and then what we do, we took all the uh, all the bits that we don't need. Feed the buckles back through. Typical once you put it on, don't want to cup again. There we go. Push the liner back in. Line up the cheek, pop rivet. So this side also fed the buckle back through. A little bit fiddly, but uh, once you get it, you get it, I suppose. Rip it up with that. Shove that back into place. Shove that under there. And there we go, guys. Install done. All back, all back in place. Want to put that back in? The only thing left to do now is uh, put the cardo on and uh, give it a whirl. So, yeah, install all done. Uh, cardo packed up bold, um, dead easy to take on and off. As you can see, there you can do it one hand, clips on, dead straightforward flip aerial up that's for uh, that's mainly for rider to rider communication rather than phones and things like that but uh, yeah use these for for about three years now An absolutely phenomenal bit of kit and uh, yeah that's it install all done guys and um, don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys speak to you soon